If there is one item that lost its essence centuries ago but still remains valuable in other ways, it is the curry. The curry gained popularity in ancient Ghana, then Gold Coast, during the transatlantic slave trade. It was the first symbol of money and wealth known to mankind. Crushing it was equivalent to tearing a hard cash today. Today, curries may no longer be a legal tender and as powerful as it used to be. But in Ghana, people are cashing in on its modern usage. Meet now Akali, a young entrepreneur. She has fallen in love with the trend of blending curries with other accessories into a refined fashion. I'm an African, I'm not too precise, and I live in a very cultural and traditional neighborhood. So I like things that are natural, original, things that have symbolic meanings. Curries mean something I love so much. I use them for a lot of things, like bracelets. Things that I see them as common, I attach curries to, it, to them to make them so special. Sometimes I use them for necklaces, attaching, adding some beads to it, just to give it a very nice blend away from what I've done before. I sell to everybody be it young or old. In the foreign land or local people, I sell it to everybody, everybody at all. People from Europe, Asia, the Caribbean, and even in Africa, people come to Ghana who want to have Africa with them, I sell to them. They come and they have bracelets made from curry. Some come in and they want necklaces, frames, just to go with them, to show their people this where they are from. Sometimes I get calls from people outside the country who have not seen before, but through friends. They call me. They send me designs of what they really want. Sometimes they don't. They just want to have, have a look at what I have. Just to see what they can put on, how they can put on, or where to take it to. But talking about people who call me about what I have, I have to look at their complexion and their attire that I'm going to put it on at that particular location. Then, suggest to them how it can be used on them and how it can suit them for that very occasion. Just trying to convince them attached to what I do. Let's I go to the market just to get the appropriate and the quality curry. Sometimes it takes me the whole day, even two days, just to get that very quality curry I'm talking about. Just to design for that very client. The market. I come back and then it's courage. The design they've sent to me, sometimes the picture of the design has to be on the table. Also, look at how to go by it, analyze everything, analyze everything before I start with the process. By finding the coloring to a design, just to, just to see the design I'm supposed to make. Finding it, sometimes I have to scratch it on the floor. Sometimes there's a hole, I have to just push a hole in the car rig, just to get that design done. My clients really appreciate the way I blend my accessories with the car rigs, to just create a new sense of fashion. 
that alone motivates me and pushes me forward. For now, I'm not really getting much, but I think it's fair. This current making skills have really helped me in helping myself by paying my bills, buy things for myself, living life simple, and also help me in paying my brother's fees in school and my mother's health. And I think it's good. People like what I do, I want to learn from me. I'm thinking upon myself to train people. Here at last, some friends I'm training and I can see they're really doing well. In the near future, I would like to open it up for more people to come in, for me to train them to have a skill and earn a living instead of idling around. That is my vision.